Alright, Pinko, you said something about visiting Stangard? The outpost of Stangard is very near, but none of the elves will speak of it to me. That is not very neighborly. Do you think they may have some unfortunate slight behind those poor feelings? It may have taken me some time to return Poppy's ball of twine and Merrimack's teapot, but I did eventually. Do you think something similar happened between the elves and the Rohirrim? Let us go south to Stangard and ask someone about at the front gate. Perhaps we can ease the poor feelings in some way, and if we cannot, at least we obtain some more material for my book. Oh, but I hope I could help. All right then. Let's head over to Stangard and see what they say. Well, we go. I think this is Stangard. Hello there. What brings you to these lands? You halflings may have come to Stangard with the desire to see our lands, but this is not a holiday retreat. This is nothing here for you or your friend. You are not the first peculiar visitors I have turned away on this outpost. I thought you certainly are the shortest. What is it that draws such unwelcome guests hither? This very morning, a rough and uncouth woman sought to gain entrance to Stangard, but of course I turned her away as it is my duty. If you find her somewhere in the northwest, perhaps the three of you can journey with haste away from Rohan. When last I saw her, she was headed in the direction of Fristan's camp. May the three of you find your way to some other land. Oh, my. Uh, that guard doesn't seem very friendly. Well, that was quite a rude greeting. I agree with that. It was rude. Well, perhaps the animosity between the elves and the Rohirrim is not the result of a borrowed item unreturned after all. If this fellow does not want me to come inside, I will respect his wishes. Perhaps we should find this woman to whom he speaks, and see if she needs any help from us. Sabert may not care if she runs afoul of some beast, but he should feel some responsibility if that were to happen. Eh, he said she was went to the northwest. All right, let's see. I'm decent at tracking things now, so perhaps I'll find something. I think we found her, Bingo. She certainly doesn't look like one of the Rohirrim. Hello there. Are you lost? I would advise you to avoid Starnguard if you've not come from there already. Yes, I bid you welcome, travelers. The men of the place, uh, Stangard, do not recognize even their friends or allies, even as they have need of them. I am Langar, of the line of Bjorn, and I have set forth from the Vale of Anduin at the command of Grim Bjorn. Orcs threaten the shores of the Great River, and someone must bait them back. The men of Rohan cower behind their walls, and they refuse my offer of help. They are fools. If I return to Grimbjorn with this tale, I am certain that he will send me elsewhere, and leave the Rohirrim to fend for themselves. But the Vales of Anduin are not far from here, and any victory by the orcs here might endanger my own home. So I will help these fools of Stangard whether they accept it or not. If you would help me with this, defeat orcs throughout the Wailing Hills. I am a skin changer, and more than capable of felling my these foes, but it seems the supply of them is never ending. Alright. Skin changer. Oh. Maybe I better not ask for the details on that. Alright, let us find some of these orcs. I'm sure there are some around here. If she's just telling Bingo that I'm able to track reasonably well now. So let's see. Yeah, that looks like a path made by an orc. Ooh. Yeah, that's an orc, all right. 
Hey! Alright, well, definitely an orc. There you go. Yeah, take that. Eh, maybe. Well, Alright, well, I'll figure out how to fight these guys eventually. Since I'm maybe calling a dozen of them will take care of it. Hmm. Well. Hey, Orc! Oh! Ah! Hey, 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 hey! Oh! Take care of one of these guys at a time. Good grief. Hey, I was busy fighting somebody else when you rudely interrupted my battle. You couldn't wait your turn. No! You had to be eager to die first. Yeah. Yes, get off of me. Alright, there you go. There you go. Now, now it's your turn. Okay. Alright, good. Orcs. Orcs, orcs, orcs. Just can't just do anything with them. They want a double team. They can't wait their turn. Jumping to Q and all that stuff. Really? I'm mean, almost as rude as that row here of a guard we went by earlier. All right, now let's see. Wait, hmm. she is right. There are plenty of orcs all around here. That I say, plenty enough for more than one person. Target practice, that's it. Of course, there are also plenty of them in Moria. All throughout Moria, all I see orcs, goblins, Marvel. Little crawlers that go through the cave, eating the walls, all sorts of things. Out here I find orcs all over the place. Wondering is he's why are these Rohirrim not taking care of these orcs themselves? You would think that if they're invading their land, I'll have to look for some more tracks here. I don't see any in the area. Let's see. You passed through here recently. Hmm. Looks like one. Oh yeah, there's one right there. I'm sure he could. There you go. Hi there. Right. Ooh. And I don't like those guys. Well, I better get rid of them all the more so. There we big thing throwing out their totems and, and all these whatever these things are, these shamans or whatever you call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casting one of his stupid dark magics all over the place. Ooh. Ooh, almost missed him. Almost missed him. I didn't want to run afoul with that. At least not uh, until I have my bow ready. Hey! Hello, hello. Just walk into this trap I made for you. Thank you! Thank you very much. Such an obliging orc. So obligingly dead. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. I almost missed that. Stealthy defilers. Yeah, I think that's what they call their shaman. What do these def what do these shaman defile, I wonder? Everything most likely. Yeah, that's that's the rather sickly stuff they're throwing at me. 
Looks like these files have it. My clothes. Oh, but I'm gonna need a washing of these. All right, let's see down here. All right, we'll take care of this guy. And oh, 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 not falling for that trap again. No. No, <laughs> you almost got me again, did you? You're like your friend did. Sneaking up on me when I'm getting ready to attack somebody else, huh? Run the ball for that one twice today, do we? Alright, now it's your turn. Surprise! You're waiting to do an ambush when your friend attacked, right? That's right. I know what you're planning. Sneaky orcs. Alright, well. One more and then I think we will call it a day and this area will be clear. And we'll see. And then we'll see with our skin changer what she has to say after this. Bjorn, now let me see. There's something about Bilbo's old books or something about Bjorn. It's something about changing into a bear or Alright. Well Alright, so let me see. Note to self, do not shoot any bears in the area. These is especially if they're attacking orcs. Alright. That should do. <coughs> Alright, Bingo, I have taken care of a dozen orcs. Longha helps those who refuse her help. Extraordinary! Yes, I have seen more than my share of orcs now, Pine Trap, but they are truly making these lands more safe for each meeting, aren't we? Yes, it is good that we encountered Lagar here instead of continuing elsewhere. She is the first Bjorning I have ever met, and she is not what I expected. There have been many stories of these people in the Shire, and many of them portray the line of Bjorn as being bloodthirsty and angry, more beast than man. Uh, yes, it is true that Langar has no mercy for her enemies, and does not speak well of the men of Stangard, but I am moved by the realization that she carries on out her duties, despite the outright rejection of those she serves. She helps those who refuse her help. I wonder how many of us would do the same. Hmm. Well, I hope that went well. I saw an eagle in the skies to the north. Yes, very good, my new friends. Uh, you have done well with the orcs, and certainly better than the cowardly men of Stangard have done. I too fought the orcs among the wailing hills, and as I searched for foes to defeat, I saw an eagle in the skies to the north and watched it descend into a stand in the trees. The eagles have been on good terms with my people for many years. We should go to him and learn what he has seen from the heights. Such knowledge might be of use as I seek out to accomplish my task. Okay, very well. Let us go and... To the north? Alright. Uh, let's head off and find the an eagle. Well, looks like she may have seen one eagle, but looks like we've got two of them now. Uh, hello there! Wait, he's big. Hi there! Uh, greetings, little hobbit! You would be wise to use caution in these lands, for you are bound to the earth and many dangerous beings crawl there, eager to do you harm. Indeed, some of these foes aim their weapons skyward, intending to do harm to my kind as well. Ooh, I guess you mean those archers that can be annoying. Well, Bingo? Ooh, what do you think? Those are pretty big birds, aren't they? I have never seen one of the great eagles before, let alone two! 
two of them. Wow, yes. Will you look at that? Yes. What an honor to see two of them. Have you ever seen such majestic people before? And they can speak. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, uh, do you think they will give me an interview for my book? I would not even know what to ask them, but I have to think of something. Oh, I am so nervous. I hope I do not embarrass myself. They seem to be so wise and well-spoken, and I am just a small hobbit from the Shire, and a feeling even smaller than usual right now. What do you say, Langar? We should give Bingo some time to speak with the eagles. Yes, I think it Bingo has never seen one of the great eagles before. I remember when Grimbjorn first took me to see them. I was just a cub and was quite overwhelmed by the experience. It is good to see uh, Meldor again. He does not seem to be as large as I remember, but I was smaller then. We should give Bingo some time to speak with the eagles. After all, if we were to take him away now, he would be able to think of nothing else. Let us defeat some of the venomous spiders that are stalking around the Wailing Hills and collect some of the venom sacks. That way, we would be giving Bingo time to speak with the eagles and we will be combating the threat at the same time. Alright. That elf, a while back, gave me some training in extracting poison because sounds like that is going to be a very handy bit of training. Now, let's see. Do I see any? Well, speaking of signs of spiders in the area, yeah, I think there's a spider in the area. Hey, there you go. Hey, yeah, take care of my friend there. I'm sure your mandibles will find the cloth quite tasty yes oh oh blew up in your face you must have too much to drink in the morning all right let's see hmm seem to be some orcs in the area as well well spidey do you have any venom sacks i can borrow yeah I'm sure you don't need it, right? Well, you're not going to be needing it in a moment after we finish this combat, I guess. So I definitely won't be needing it then. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a... Never mind. Next! Ooh. You gotta be careful. These, these spiders seem to like hiding. Like that one that jumped me from... Well, I don't know. I guess I wasn't looking for more care. That's what, actually, I think that's what that L said. The art of finding and tracking is, of course, paying attention. Right now, let's see. Well, I may have to kill a few orcs along the way, but I'm sure she won't mind if I kill a few stray orcs as I'm going about. Let's see. Hmm. Well, let's see. Do I see a spider? Oh, yes, that is most definitely a spider. I can see that. Well, definitely looks like a spider. Pretty big spider. Now, I mean, I really don't mind how spiders all that much. Especially if they're eating flies or whatever, but I just don't like being the fly myself. Right. Now, let's Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. I can't kill you if you walk away. Hey, don't walk away there. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. There you go. See, my own little web there. How, how do you like my webbing? Right? Y you don't fancy it. You thought it was a poor job. Well, all right, maybe it was a poor job. I'm not a, I'm not a spider, so I'm not as expert in building webs as you are. All right, let's. Oh, this one's even more fun. Hey, don't do that to me. Hey, come here, down here, down to my nice little. I want you to look at my web here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. What do you think of it? 
Do you think it'll do? Do you think it'll be good for trapping things like orcs? See, maybe even spiders. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Speaking of orcs, let me get rid of this thing. We got a little bit more webbing left. So, we might as well use it. Hey, down here, down here. No. Oh, yeah, there, yes, yes, okay, that, yes, down here. Hey, not at range. You gotta see my webbing. Don't disappoint me. Oh, you seem to have really liked it. Y y you just fell in all from it. Right, let's see. Spidey. Oh, sp oh, there you are. Come and see my web. I'm sure it'll knock you out. Literally. You just fell for that one, didn't you? All right. Oh, hmm. A little bit of poison. And finally, let's see. Maybe we've cleared out all the spiders in the area? Let's see if I see any more. Ah, yes, there's one right there. Yeah, I see you trying to hide in the rocks and blend in. That's how that other one surprised me. Hiding in plain sight with the background to match. Yeah. Alright. There you go. How do you like that as a stinger? Wakey, wakey. And there you go. Alright, that should be enough of that. Not sure what she needs those venom sacks for. Oh, I, I missed one, didn't I? Oh, yeah, see what I did? I was just so excited about getting back and reporting that I successfully cleared out the area and there was a... Well, let's say there was a stalker stalking to jump at me. Saying, aha, I'm too smart for this hobbit and I'll ambush her. Haha. <laughs> well, that's what I gotta say to that. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Eagles. Hopefully, Bingo has finished that little conversation and has. And has everything done? Oh, it looks like looks like they had done a little flying while I was away. Well, what was that all about? Hello, Logar. How did it go? Do you think Bingo is done speaking with the eagles yet? Yes, yeah, that was good work against the spiders. Uh, do you think Bingo is done speaking with them? Yes, yeah, Bingo. How'd your conversation go? We had a lovely conversation, but I have learned something troubling. Well, what's wrong? Yes, what? Yes, they are. these are delightful fellows, if you ask this hobbit, and their patience with my questions was really quite extraordinary. I asked them some details concerning what it must be like to fly, and they were very good-natured with the response. In fact, Landreville launched directly into the air and flew a brief circuit around the hills to demonstrate his form with me, and it really was something, um, but... When he returned to Earth, he told me something troubling. A cluster of brightly colored tents and canopies clustered in the brown lands. Enemies are messing along the river, and they will surely attack the men of Stangard. We must warn them! When he warned them, the, the men of Stangard refused to talk. All oh, right. Ah, <sighs> Back to Stangard. Sir, I have something important to tell you. What brings you to these lands? You again? Was I not clear enough the first time? Ye yes but there are Easterlings gathering along on the Great River, getting ready to attack. 
The, the Eagles told me. Eagles. Skin changing bear folk. Nosy halflings far from home. You keep odd company, Pine Trap, and there is no need for you to bring them here. The men of Stankard will face whatever tomorrow brings. Good day to you, and may it bring you and your peculiar friends elsewhere. <sighs> I don't think he appreciated my helping him. He doesn't believe us. We will have to do something about it ourselves. Yes, we'll have to do it, because he won't believe us. But we cannot let them be destroyed. We will have to do something about this.